Hi everyone. Um, my name is Sandy Lang and I work as the sustainability manager at Nudians. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, I was very happy to be invited. So I work with the sustainability at Nudians, mostly the social aspects of the supply chain, including living wages, transparency and social compliance in the supply chain. Uh, but my department also work with, of course, all aspects of sustainability, including the climate, um, environmental performance, material choices, chemicals and so on. Um, and today I will show you an overview of what we do, but also going more in detail into the circular activities of our business. So uh, Nudians was founded uh, in Sweden on the Swedish West Coast in Gothenburg by Marie Eriksson Levin in 2001, almost 20 years ago now. Together with Joachim Levin and Palle Stenberg, uh, they set the founding principles of this company. Nudians never had any external investors and is a company by the three owners. Independence has always been important to us. We have our head office in Gothenburg, um, where about 80 employees works today. We have departments for design, product development, sustainability, wholesale, retail and online, and supporting functions as HR, IT, finance. Uh, but we also have our own marketing department, photo studio and architect and other specialized positions. We have today about 35 repair shops worldwide, um, a growing online business and more than 1000 retailer doors globally. We are known for working a lot with both social and environmental um, issues and have only worked with organic cotton for all our denim products. And since 2017, uh, for all our cotton products, including the jackets, sweater, t-shirt, shirts and underwear. And Nudians represents a sustainable denim brand um, where we take responsibility for all parts of the product from the cotton fields throughout the production and onwards to the user phase. To give you an idea of our financial uh, situation, um, we had in 2019 uh, Revenue of 489 million Swedish krona, uh, equal to 46.2 million euros. We had our sales distribution um, with wholesale standing for 49% and our own channels for um, about 50% as well. When, it, when we look at the regions we are selling in, we can see that Europe um, uh, have 55% of the share while Asia, North America and Australia is equally divided. Uh, this is the world of Nudians. Um, the yellow um, spots is the repair partners and the orange ones is the repair shops. Um, our production is illustrated here with the green spots uh, and today we have production in Sweden, Lithuania, Poland, Portugal, Italy, Tunisia, Turkey and India. And besides from this, also a global online channel. In 2019, we had a few highlights. We won some awards. Um, we were ranked as leaders, both within Fairway Foundation and also Textile Exchange. Our founder, Maria, started um, to write her book and released a book. And um, we also repaired a lot of jeans, something that I will come back to later on in the presentation. Um, as I mentioned in the start, we like to do things in our own way. Independence has always been important for us. Um, and when we created the material tool a few years ago, um, this was no exception. So this tool is uh, inspired by the Made Bias benchmark for materials and also the Higgs MSI. And we have categorized the sustainable fibers, the non-sustainable fibers and the fibers that we do not use. If you're interested to read more about the details in this one, uh, you will find all info in the sustainability report that we have online. Um, last year we had 97.7% uh, sustainable products. That means that we had products that contain more than 70% of a material that was listed uh, in the green box that you saw in the pre previous slide. The 2.3% of non-sustainable products here are the leather goods, the leather belts and jackets. Um, for the raw materials, we are using a lot of organic cotton, but we're also using a lot of organic fair trade, reused and recycled cotton, 93.8%. The 5.2% here are the fibers, uh, contains wool and tencel, for example. 
When it comes to the virgin versus the recycled fibers, you can see that we have 97.1% uh, of the virgin fibers and only 2.9% of recycled fibers. And this is something that I hope that we will be able to increase over the coming years. When you talk about cotton production, uh, it's also inevitable to also mention the water use um, that is also connected to it. Traditionally, organic cotton uh, or, or cotton production in general, I would say, um, is also very high uh, use of water. Um, our cotton is sourced from India and Turkey, and we work a lot with small scale farmers. And they work in their turn with very traditional methods for collecting water, saving water, and also using the water, for example, drip irrigation on the cotton fields. When it comes to the fabric production, we work with um, suppliers having uh, water saving uh, dyeing techniques for the fabric. And the laundries that we are washing our jeans in are um, in many cases having options to water washes like laser or sewn. Um, most importantly, all our suppliers are working with closed water management systems and water treatment plants. If they're not having the water treatment plants of their own, they usually are, they are connected to uh, the municipality water treatment plant. We also believe that we're taking responsibility for our water use um, by encouraging our customers not to wash their denim for a long time um, and by repairing and prolonging the life of our jeans, of course. For the social compliance part, we are members of Ferro Foundation, which is an independent organization for textile companies. Um, they act as a framework for us and um, helps us in monitoring the labor conditions in our supply chain. Each year, they also verify the work that we do uh, and publish a brand performance check report that is available online at our website and on theirs for the sake of transparency. So if anyone is interested to dig deeper into the social compliance part, you can always read more in the reports. We have a very short supply chain. Um, we work long term with our suppliers. Um, and most importantly, we choose suppliers that share our values. This is really important uh, to build this sustainable foundation of suppliers. In a normal year, um, we visit the suppliers a lot. This year is obviously um, different for many reasons, um, but we have a high rate of monitoring at our production units. And that means not only the um, stitching units, but also all the subcontractors like printing, laundry, packing, uh, and so on. Uh, we also make social audits at all our suppliers and have done so for many years. Um, this resulted in the production guide we uh, were publishing already in 2013. So if you go to our website, you will find this tool. You can have a read on the different uh, product categories and the suppliers that are involved in the production of the, of the garment. Um, you can click into the different uh, countries and you can see the specific suppliers and read a lot about the suppliers it itself. Um, we think this is a very uh, good tool for anyone who's interested to read more, understand more about the complexity in the supply chain. Um, and we hope also that we will um, be able to influence someone maybe and also um, yeah, put up the question about what is really transparency in the fashion industry. Is it to have a list of your suppliers online or is it actually to know more about the conditions at those suppliers? So we are all able to make improvements. Um, last year we had production in these countries. So you can see that Tunisia was the country that we had most production in, followed by Italy and Portugal. And the product categories you can see here as well. We made a lot of jeans, 73%, um, but also some other categories that you can see here. Now coming into the user phase of the, of the product. Um, the core product we have is dry denim. And the idea with dry denim is that you can wear it for a long time. We recommend at least six months before the first wash to get this nice break in effects that we like at least. Um, and not only do you get a very personalized look on your jeans, but you also, uh, yeah, that will show your lifestyle and your um, 
but it will also contribute to minimizing the environmental impact by less home washes. Um, and if you wear a jeans for a long time, it will eventually break. So here you can see a pair that was never worn before, a pair that was worn for 11 months, and a pair that was worn uh, and washed. So when your jeans finally break, it's uh, of course important to prolong the life of the garments. So therefore we offer free repairs in our stores. And in 2019, we repaired 63,281 pairs of jeans globally in our stores. And this is a great figure. And a fun fact to it is that if you would fold it twice, it would make a pile that is taller than many of the tallest buildings on Earth. 1,260 meters. And that is, of course, great. Um, not only are we able to prolong the life of so many garments, but we also managed to save a lot of textiles from being um, sent maybe to, to waste. And we also uh, saved a lot of water by not producing new ones. Um, we also have a trade in program in our stores. So um, if you have a pair of nudians and you don't want them anymore, you can hand them in to our stores. You will get a discount on a new pair and we take those pair back and we, in some cases, mend them if needed um, and uh, sell them again in our reuse program. And since 2018, we have this program both in the stores, but also online. In 2019, we collected 11,573 pairs of pre loved jeans in this program. And the reuse jeans program is something that was really started a few years back. Uh, it's really a great idea of, of uh, taking care of your products and prolonging the life and make sure that someone else can use it um, for many more years. Um, Personally, I think it's uh, really great. Um, uh, we sold only 3,521 pairs of reused jeans in 2019, which doesn't sound that much. Um, so there's a great potential of, of uh, increase here. Um, but personally, I also think it's great that we can uh, contribute with changing their um, perceptions of people regarding secondhand garments. And um, we try to sell it as any of our other products. It can be both cheaper and more expensive, depending on the work that has been done to the garments, such as embroideries or mendings or so on. But nevertheless, it's a new product for you as a consumer, and um, it doesn't have to be newly produced. So I would say that this is probably our most sustainable product that we have. In some cases, we also use the jeans that we receive back from the trading program to different upcycle programs. Um, products uh, like like the ones you see here, the caps and hats and uh, and bags. Um, and this is a great way of upcycling um, old pair. Over the years, we also done a few other projects, for example, the rag rugs we did a few years back. This became a very um, nice product, um, something with a history, something with a, um, uh, yeah, you can actually, it's possible that you can walk on your old pair of jeans here, in fact. And uh, it's a great thing to, to know that this, this um, rug will actually live for a very, very long time. Uh, last year, we did this um, recycled post-consumer new jeans collection. And this was a great initiative. Uh, we did it together with our partner Bossa in Turkey. And um, by mechanical recycling, um, all the jeans that we were collected, they were cut into pieces. Um, the fibers, uh, the material were ground into fibers and blended in with virgin organic cotton. And we received not only a very sustainable product, but also a very good looking product, as you can see here on the photo. Um, and we think that this is a very um, important to have that balance, to have both sustainable products, but of course also commercially good products. Um, and this was a really su successful uh, capsule that we did. And uh, I think it was sold out quite quickly, at least the jacket and the jeans. We also had a t-shirt um, with a print on it. 
And the latest addition to our um, recycling program is the, this uh, very locally developed program in Australia, where we have uh, post-consumer ingredients that was uh, stored in our shops. Um, and we collaborated with the uh, Waverly Mill in Tasmania to do this very nice and cozy blankets. Um, so there's, this is wool and uh, post-consumer ingredients blended in together with some elastan for the uh, comfortability of it. And this is a great example of how we are developing our programs. Sometimes we need to do this locally um, to make sure that we are not only um, developing new exciting products, but also to take care of our own waste and to close the loop in, in, our, in all our, our um, regions that we operate in. So this is something that I hope that we'll be able to um, e yeah, explore in other markets as well. So uh, thank you for this. Um, if you have any questions regarding any of the things I mentioned here, you're more than welcome to email at sustainability at 네, 원료 구매부터 생산, 판매, 소비, 폐기까지 전반적인 과정에 의해서 투명성을 지켜가며 지속 가능성을 추구하고 있는 누디진의 책임 경영에서 많은 것을 느낄 수가 있었습니다. 자, 매력적인 누디진 몇 가지 질문을 통해서 좀더 자세하게 얘기 나눠 보도록 하겠습니다. 자, 첫 번째 질문 드릴게요. 자, 일반 코튼보다 조금 더 나을 수는 있어도 오가닉 코튼을 만들어 내는데도 많은 물이 사용되는 것으로 알고 있습니다. 누디진에서는 물의 사용량을 어느 정도 최소화하면서 제품을 개발하고 있는지 자세한 설명 부탁드리겠습니다. So um, um, what do we think about that? For us it's like I described in the presentation. Um, yeah, if you look at the traditional um, cotton industry, uh, this is likely the case. Um, but as said, um, if, if you as a brand decide to have like full transparency um, and work with local partners for cotton growing, you can have access to those small scale farmers and um, where they're using traditional methods for water handling. And uh, it can be different. Um, for example, when the farmers are using rain water um, stored uh, in their properties and used for many, many months uh, with drip irrigation, for example. Uh, so it is possible. 네, 그럼에도 불구하고 청바지에서 가장 중요한 요소는 바로 디자인일 겁니다. 누디진의 지속 가능성도 매력 있는 부분이지만 디자인에 있어서의 매력 포인트는 뭐라고 생각하시나요? And uh, I would say that the attractive points for Nudin's products um, is, of course, the look of the jeans, the look of the products, the fit, and also the high level of service. Uh, many of our customers appreciate uh, the combination of sustainability, the products, and the service. And uh, we are very happy about that, of course, but this is exactly what we are trying to deliver. So, yeah, thank you so much for listening. Um, and uh, have a great day. 네, 누디진의 아이디어는 라고움이라는 말에서 출발했다고 합니다. 라고움은 스웨덴어로 적당한, 충분한, 딱 알맞음과 같이 균형을 의미하는 단어인데요. 소박하고 균형 잡힌 생활과 공동체 조화를 중시하는 삶의 경향을 담고 있는 단어입니다. 청바지를 구입하고 입고 세탁할 때 환경에 대한 생각을 하기란 쉽지 않죠. 그렇지만 일상에서 환경과 공존하고 균형을 잃을 수 있는 방법은 나의 소비 습관의 작은 변화로부터 시작될 수 있지 않을까라는 걸 새삼 느끼게 됩니다.